Yo, what's going on guys? Matt here and welcome to episode number three of my career as a running back on the Dallas Cowboys here on Connected Franchise in Madden 16. So last time out, your Cowboys, along with my excellent performance at running back, improved to 2-0, beating the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. This week we're taking on the 0-2 Falcons. As you see, we are one of many 2-0 teams. Uh, the only team in our division that is also 2-0 are the Washington Redskins. You see, I was third in the league um, after last week with a lot of rushing yards, 224, and I was second in the league in average yards per carry, which was 6.8. I also am tied with Doug Martin at the top with three touchdowns. So I'm really excited to get into this game here against the 0-2 Falcons and Matt Ryan. Here we go, and game in Dallas. All right, week two here in Dallas. This is my time. A lot of teams have seen what I've done the past two weeks, but it's up to me now to continue out these next few weeks and also perform just as well. So here we go, returning this one against the 0-2 Falcons. Let's do this. Okay, first quarter, over four minutes left. Brandon Weeding still in for the injured Tony Romo, and right off the bat, I am getting a first down. Next play, second and inches, getting another handoff. Brandon Whedon hands it off, we're going to the left side, trying to get to the 40 yard line, and we will, and we will also pick up a first down, 13 yards on three rushes today, and we are once again moving the chains. First and 10 now from the 40. Setting up in the backfield, getting the handoff, going to the right, and I have some room, getting past one tackle across the first down marker, and I am down at the 27 yard line. What a rush. Couple plays later, third and 11. This one's going deep, and guess who's there to catch it? It's going to be Beasley, and he brings us all the way to the seven yard line. Brandon Whedon starting off good, four for four, but we turn the ball over, but thankfully for our defense, we get the ball right back. So it's still 0-0 here, as the second quarter has four minutes left. Taking this one to the right after receiving it, we actually make up some room here, and we will get to the 43 yard line. So a nice little return there. For a total of 13 yards going the other way but we did make it happen we're at the four yard line now trying to punch this one in getting the handoff going up the middle and we have our first touchdown of the game what a nice play by me just uh didn't have to do much actually but got up the middle made sure that i was in there and got into the end zone for the touchdown giving us the first seven points of the game Second and 12 now here in the third quarter. We are down by a touchdown. 14-7 Atlanta, and I'm trying to get us closer to that end zone. Get a couple of yards there, but nothing much. A couple plays later, we get the ball back. It's now 21-7 Atlanta. Trying to do something here, and I will only get to the 24-yard line. Very next play. First and 10 from the 24. Getting a block there for Brandon Whedon, who connects with Des Bryant and he is moving the chains and we are moving forward at the 40 yard line. Second and one now, also blocking on this one and that is a pass, a bench route and that is going to be caught and Brandon Whedon is looking pretty good but we still need to make up two more touchdowns at the 37 yard line. Going outside and nothing is happening here. In fact, they're gonna stop us on that one. Not a very good play and as a result here with two minutes left in the fourth, I'm gonna go ahead, sim a little bit and now we have a punt return opportunity. Still down by two touchdowns, and we really need some good field position. The punt is at the 34 yard line, and it's fourth and four. Here is the kick, it's going over to my right. I'm gonna make the catch at the 15 yard line and try to make up some room. Juke to the inside, trying to fight past some tackles. I do, I stay on my feet, and I am finally brought down at the 45 yard line. What a rush. Again, we need some points. Second and 10 now. Minute left in the game. Brandon Whedon has to come up huge, and that is a pretty good start. All the way across midfield to the 41-yard line, and guess who? It's Des Bryant. Third and 10 now. 50 seconds left in the game. We need a touchdown fast because we need to make up two, and there is another pass downfield, and there is another completion for Brandon Whedon to guess who? Des Bryant. First and 10 now. Whedon out of the snap. Running around here, not going to me, but it's going to a teammate as that is Street making the catch with 40 seconds left in the game, and we need to hurry and get this touchdown. 
fake handoff to me. He's going across, and he finds Street once again for the touchdown. We still need one more, but let's see what happens. So we're back in the menu here. We're going to sim a couple of plays. We have the touchdown play. The extra point is good. Now we're going to kick the onside kick, and Atlanta will recover. So somehow, someway, the 0-2 Atlanta Falcons upset the 2-0 Dallas Cowboys, who are now 2-1. Your final score here from Dallas, Texas, the Atlanta Falcons 21 the Dallas Cowboys 14. So unfortunately we couldn't do much in this game. We were actually stopped quite a bit. We did have one touchdown and some yards, but overall we are really missing Tony Romo. Moving on to week four. This time we're going to Louisiana and we're going against the New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees is getting old, but we know he still has some power left in him. Let's see what we can do. Okay, this is my last shot this episode to do something good. Last game, I got a touchdown, but I was stopped. Maybe some teams are starting to figure out how to stop me. Well, it's time to make some changes. Third and five now from the 31-yard line. Going to the right, Whedon sees me, finds me. I got a first down and more all the way down to the 41-yard line. An excellent run there to start off the game as we have just over three minutes left in the first quarter, and we are moving the chain. Second and 10 now from the 41, getting the handoff, tripping over a player. We will get a couple of yards, but other than that, not too much. Second and 10 now. 45 seconds left in the quarter. A pitch over to me. Going to the right side. I have some room, and I am going to pick up about five yards. But since I lost some yards earlier, I only have two yards on five rushes today. Another rush. Going to the right side. Trying to fight for that first down. And there is my first career fumble. Not what I wanted to do, but the Saints stripped me, and they are getting the ball right back. Honestly, that cannot happen again. If we need to be winning some games, we cannot have our starting running back, which is myself, giving up fumbles like that. A nice pass here from Brandon Weeding gets us downfield just before the half at the five yard line, trying to find a receiver, and he does just that. That's a touchdown pass, so we are going to take the 7 0 lead here in New Orleans. They will get a field goal. We're in the second half now, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. I'm getting a little short pass here, which isn't going to be enough for the first down. And that is a problem because we need some points. Moving on forward, we get the ball back. We're at the 20 yard line, seven to three, Dallas. Yeah, seems like a lot of teams are doing their research and doing some film studies on me because really since I've turned the difficulty up to all Madden, it's been hard to get some rushes. This time going to the left side, and I will dive for a first down. So we are moving the chains here with under three minutes to go in the game. And if there was ever a time to get some points, it's right now. Another handoff, trying to punch it in. I'm almost there, but I just tackled four yards short of the end zone. Third and goal now from the four. Will I get the ball back? Yes, I will. I'm running it up the middle. And there it is. Two touchdowns in two games, and we are going to take the 14-3 lead here in New Orleans, and that was huge. I go up the middle, similar to my last touchdown, and in the end, here in New Orleans, something good's going to happen. Something we didn't get last game, which was a win. So, the 2-1 Cowboys improve to 3-1 here with the 14-3 defeats over the New Orleans Saints. So, we're moving into week five, and it's going to be an interesting one because it's going to be the last week without Tony Romo, who will return in week number six. Remember, he has a shoulder tear, and we are going to be, unfortunately, missing him in a very, very big game. It's in Dallas, but is against the reigning Super Bowl defending champions, the New England Patriots. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this series, taking my time with it. Next episode, we will take on the Patriots and then go into the bye week. And then eventually, we will get Tony Roma back. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Until then, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.